the story behind the hair is really simple. Um, uh, I have uh, my entire life uh, had a military haircut. Mil I, was, I was raised in a very traditional military style family. Um, yes sir, no sir. Uh, to my parent, to my father, yes ma'am, no ma'am, to my mom. I had a military crew cut until my son went to kindergarten. And then my wife said uh, to me uh, one day, you know, you ought to try doing something with your hair. <laughs> and so I said, like what? what? What's there to do? She said, I don't, I don't know. Just, just, I don't know, um, get it twisted or braided or just do something. Um, so I just tried, um, uh, I went to a hairdresser and I said, uh, uh, a hairdresser who, by the way, specialized in African hair braiding, and I said, let's just try something different with my hair. So uh, um, I started off, it was very short, um, uh, in dreadlocks, and as it grew, my wife said, oh, I love it. And I said, well, if you love it, I can't, I can't cut it. So. Um, the, the hair is basically a happy wife, happy life. Um, I can't cut it. And actually, this is, this is absolutely true. If you talk to my hairdresser, she will not let me cut my hair. She has to ask Angie for permission to even trim it. So I have no, it's one of the many areas of my life I have no say over.